Kaikani, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. Our conversation with Mike Peter and Tammy Curry about the Italian Festival brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Let's face it, boys and girls, we all know that lasagna is nature's most perfect food, and they really know how to grow it there at Bruno's Italian Restaurant. Good morning, folks. Morning. Good morning. It's good to have you Thanks both with us here today. Hey, the Italian Festival coming up this weekend, I know I make it all about food, but it's more than just food. It's just I can't get my mind off of it, Mike. Yes, it is difficult. <laughs> Food's always good, but <laughs> there is going to be plenty of other things to do than just eat. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about it. Uh, first of all, for folks who don't know, the festival is when, Tammy? It is this Sunday, August 14th, from 12 noon to 7 p.m., and it runs from 9th Street, right out here, 9th and Philly, up to 13th. Mm-hmm. And from station to 13th will be the car show. Oh, yeah. And hopefully we're going to have overflow, so that it'll be from 9th down that way a little bit too, but we do have over forty vendors, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we got a lot of vendors, a lot of good ones. Well, tell me what's what 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 those vendors will have, what the what the schedule looks like. You wanna- sure, uh, <laughs> music will start, you know, right at noon. We have three bands all day: uh, Bel Airs, Doctor Zoot, and Crawdad Joe, and then vendors will be, you know, like she said, portion after the band up to Thirteenth here, or I mean Ninth Street. Um, Bunch of them. We have dog treats, ice cream, a dunk booth, T-shirt design, um, many more. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah, yeah, more. tons of them. Uh, we have a local Karen uh, Karen Border. I don't know if you know her. She does um, paint artwork. She took off after her mom, so she does really good work. We've got John Compardo, one of our sheriff's deputies. He mm-hmm. does his angel creations. Mm-hmm. He does beautiful woodworking. Um, Dave Fairman. With Andy Crafts, uh, Cherish Creamery that I'll be at their booth. That's the goat's milk cheese that Anthony just loves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Family Promise. We have the Cigar Club. Um, the list of food vendors. Sure. We have Bruno's. We have Naps. We have Spaghetti Benders. We have Pig Rig. We have Chuck Wagon. Sutton's Sweet Treats, which is the ice cream. The Grove, which is Wings. Simply the best kettle corn. And J&J Funnel Cakes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Got to yeah. have them. Got to yeah. have them. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the Italian food, of course, is, is what I <laughs> focus in upon most often in life and as a rule, Mike, because it's what I'm all about is Italian food. Uh, but uh, but uh, Bruno's Italian Restaurant, of course, uh, you were the guys who kicked this thing off a few years ago. And, uh, and it, it's just, I don't know what it is about Italian food that is, is so appealing to me, but I'm not the only one, am I? No, no, it's been a great turnout uh, in the past year, and hopefully this year the uh, weather cooperates. So far, it's looking good. So we should expect a you know nice turnout as well, and everybody yeah. enjoy themselves. We're gonna have a really nice day, really nice day for it. And uh, as you as you think about it, uh, Italian heritage is something that people celebrate um, at events such as this, uh, and there are other events that celebrate other ethnic heritages. Uh, uh, it's just that Italian. Uh, food seems to appeal to everybody. I don't know anybody that doesn't like it. Right. Correct, yeah. There's not too many people. But and Speaking right. of that, we have yeah. um, Doug Jack locally is going to be making, bun- I hope I'm pronouncing this right, bunyakata. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. lots of anchovies and garlic in that one, yep. but he's going to be having that down in front of Bruno's for sale. So really? It's um, very aromatic. Yes. Very yeah. aromatic. We'll just put it that way. Yeah. Very aromatic. You're going to add that one to the menu then afterwards, Mike? Oh, we've talked about it. Yeah. Doug Jack, he does a good job with yeah. it. For you. Oh, yeah. But I hear I'm going to have to try it. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like anchovies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I like garlic. So yep. we also have some, we have the kids' alley too. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have Miss Lori's sweet treats. She's going to have the popcorn. We're going to have the ice cream truck there. We're having, um, Fantasia Fantasy Faces, face painting for the oh, okay. kids and the dunk booth. Mm-hmm. So we were just talking about maybe making that a celebrity dunk booth. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Yeah. I think that would draw some people. Yeah. In. Yeah. That would get more yeah. attention. Than Interested? You. Give you an idea. <laughs> uh, in I'll throwing? buy you a piece of lasagna. <laughs> if you get in that dunk booth. How's that? <laughs> Uh, Sunday happens to be my busy day, so <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, um, but, you know, the Italian Festival is, is something that you, you brought about a couple of years ago. We need to mention 
uh, that it, it's not just about getting together and having fun. There's a, there's a serious element to it as well, and, and that is uh, the beneficiary of, uh, of the proceeds uh, from, from this event. Right, and that would be the Teddy Bear Fun Drive. Yeah. So we're hoping that we um, can help out yeah. in any way that we can, large or small. It's just, you know, it's we're there. We just yeah. want to do it, and we're hoping that the car show brings in a lot of revenue for it as well. So, And speaking of the car show, I want to give a little shout-out to Tammy Colazzo from Borough Council. She and her uh-huh. daughter are going to be manning the gate. At oh, 13th okay. Street. So uh-huh. thanks to her for doing that because I'm having yeah. a little bit of trouble with volunteers. But we do have some, but we could use more if anyone's interested. Oh, yeah? Reach out on the Facebook event page. And, that's all you need to do? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be a good thing. If somebody looking for something to do on Sunday afternoon and they can help a very, very good cause, the Italian Festival will be happening. You know, car shows are such wonderful events, but you need the good weather uh, that we have in the forecast in order because those those are those... The guys and the gals who have the classic cars, those are their babies. That's right. Uh, and and they they really, really are protective of them. So to get them to come out uh, and bring their cars uh, to something like this is a wonderful thing. Just do not take the sauce around the leather seat. No, <laughs> absolutely not. I'm kind of excited to see the Italian, vintage Italian cars, too. That's, oh, would there be some? Yes, yes. I had a phone call from a lady the other day that's bringing theirs, and she contacted the Italian Car Club. Oh, they're really? They're going to be bringing them. I'm trying to think if I can showcase them up here in one area, too. Mm-hmm. Just all the vintage Italian cars. I think that would be kind of cool. Oh, that would be neat. Yeah. That so. would be so cool. Yeah. Uh, we, we've done a lot of work, huh, Mike? Yeah. Our work has yes, gone yeah. into this, and, you know. Well, we've had a lot of help and a lot of, um, well, I can't say help, a lot of cooperation from some Philadelphia Street business owners and mm-hmm. property owners, uh, Rary Bents, wonderful, use our lot if there's no service, Penn Stan, Hideaway Cable, Brad Martineau and Eric Brocious have allowed the vendors to use their spot because I want to keep it cleared for the customers to be able to sure. park on the side street. So that's really great that they're offering their parking lots to vendors to keep more parking for our customers. Yeah, and, and that's, a, that's a good point to make is folks who are coming to the Italian Festival will want to know things like that. Where do I park my car in order to go there? It would be a nice day for anybody to walk anywhere yes. from downtown right. Indiana. Yeah, right. uh, but, uh, you know, people will uh, they'll want to be able to get there easily. And, and that particular stretch of road uh, does offer the opportunity for people to, uh, to walk to it with no problem. Right, right. If yeah. you live in the borough, it's walkable, it's... That's great. If you don't live in a borough, the side streets, mm-hmm. any of the side streets, um, 9th, Climber Foundry, 11th, 10th, um, Water Street has a lot of parking over that yeah. way. In front of Agway, we'll have, there's parking there. Uh, behind the old Gaddy, there's parking there in yeah. the lot. So, you know, it, it's really nice that these other businesses that don't have to do this have also. Yeah offered to help out. So. Yeah. And Mike, let's talk about the music again, because mm-hmm. uh, you, you mentioned three groups. Yes. Um, Bel Airs will be first. I think they will be about 12 to 2 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And then after they're done, uh, next will be Dr. Zoot from about 2.30 to 5 o'clock. And then Crawdad Joe's right after that from 5 to 7. Now, so. now the band Dr. Zoot um, sort of bring, brings to mind an image yes. of, of, of the type of music they'll be doing. <laughs> Right. They, we've had them in the past, and they draw a very nice crowd. Yeah. They do a great job. Uh, everybody from? seems to enjoy them. I, I don't remember. Pittsburgh. I bet it is, yeah, from I think Pittsburgh. it's Pittsburgh, and Bel Air is yeah. close to Pittsburgh as well. Yeah, yeah. And and what's the other one? Crawdad? Crawdad Joe. Uh-huh. He's uh, Blairsville, I believe. Cool. So, cool. Yeah. yeah. He's They're kind really of more of classic rock, uh, Crawdad Joe. But. That's the kind of thing that people love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a good variety of music right. to reach out to, you know, all different age groups and likes sure. and dislikes. I think, you know, I think it's going to be a great day. Come on out. Enjoy the show. Uh, and, and it's free. There's no admission. Yeah. yeah <laughs> People no have asked me, is there admission? No, it's there's no admission. Just come, come and visit. spend your money on the small local businesses and the food and, yeah, and donate time. to the Teddy Bear Fun Drive. Oh, and there's also, forgot to mention too, Denny is also selling raffle tickets for a $1,300 outdoor patio set. Oh, really? Yes, and they'll be sold down at Bruno's in, in that general in the vicinity. Yeah. They're, uh-huh. yeah, they're $10 a ticket, and it's really a nice giveaway that day, or is it going yes. to extend a yes. little bit? Yes, yes. We'll draw a winner, I believe we said about 6 p.m. Oh, cool. 
Yes. Bring your truck or Mike will deliver it right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> My truck will be full. So. <laughs> well, it's going to be a wonderful day. And uh, the Italian festival has quickly become a tradition here in Indiana County and in Indiana Burles. We wish you the best. We thank you for making the teddy bear fun drive uh, such a big part of it. And, uh, and man, it's 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 not so far from now. You got some work to do. Got some extra cooking to do this week. Yeah, we have to hurry up and get it done. But do we'll it. be here soon, and but it will be ready. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming in to tell us about thanks it. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank Appreciate you. It. Appreciate it. It is the voice of Indiana County WCCS one hundred one point one FM and AM eleven sixty. Twenty three minutes after nine o'clock, the markets will open up across the nation uh, at nine thirty this morning, and so they're getting set for that. Let's get this morning's money matters report. Here's Joe McConnell.